SAP Business One 9.0 has the ability to manage inventory with bin locations embedded in the main business processes supported by Business One. Jason Butler from OEC Computers has received some goods from a supplier and would like to allocate them to the relevant bin location. OEC Computers has a warehouse, warehouse number 5, and a unique bin location structure. OEC Computers have just received 50 SD memory cards from their supplier CTI Computers. To receipt the goods, Jason is going to create a goods receipt purchase order which can be found under the purchasing menu and then selecting goods receipt purchase order. We can then select our vendor details, CTI computers and then simply select our item details. We then input the quantity that we've received and now we have the ability to allocate these goods to a bin location. To do this, we can drill down to the bin location allocation receipt window. In this allocation screen, you can easily select among the defined bin locations which one will receive the 50 SD memory cards. We can drill down to the list of bin locations and select a preferred bin location for these items. This particular bin location can only hold 25 SD memory cards, so therefore we will only allocate 25 to this particular bin. So now we will need to allocate the remaining 25 items to another bin location. This time we will type in the bin location directly. Now we can update our allocation receipt and confirm the allocation. Now we can see that we have allocated the 50 items to their relevant bin locations and we can finalise the goods receipt purchase order. Well that concludes this purchase allocation for these items. Jason Butler would now like to review a dynamic report on the company's bin location contents. To do this, he simply navigates to the Inventory menu, Inventory Reports, and selects the Bin Location Contents list. By clicking OK, I am presented with a list of all of the bin locations with currently stored items, and you can see how many items are in each bin. From here, by selecting the bin locations, I can easily review any inventory postings related to these items by selecting Inventory Posting List. Here I can check that in Warehouse 5, for example, we have the two bin allocations for the correct quantities that we have just created. A customer has now just called OEC Computers and would like to purchase 30 SD memory cards. So Jason proceeds to create a sales order for this customer parameter technology. He does this by navigating to the sales menu and opens up the sales order document. We then select our customer parameter technology, enter a required delivery date and the required item details. and then the required quantity of 30. We can now add this sales order to the system. So now we've just completed a very simple sales order. The goods now need to be picked from the warehouse. To do this, Jason can navigate to the inventory menu and selects the Pick and Pack and Pick and Pack Manager. By selecting Open Sales Orders by date, we can narrow down our selection. By clicking OK, we are now able to kick off the pick process for this sales order. The first step in the pick process is to review all of the information required for a warehouse manager, for example, to release the pick. 
Here we've got all of the transaction details, we've got the customer details, we can see which warehouse the items are stored, we can see how many items need to be released and what's available to be released, for example. Now we can select the items to be picked, we can release them from picking by selecting Release to Pick List. When releasing an item for picking, Business One offers a simple pick list generation wizard to really simplify the whole pick process. For this pick, we don't need to restrict the pick to a specific warehouse or bin sublevel, so we can click Next. And we don't actually need to manually decide how to split the pick, we can just use the default recommendation by Business One, so we can move on to the next step. In the pick list details, we can see that given 30 items have been ordered and only 25 items are contained in one bin location, two picks have been recommended in one document. To accept this recommendation, we can choose to generate the pick document. Now the pick has been released, we can now move to the release drawer to find the pick document. We can now drill down into the pick list. The items have now been physically picked, so we can select Pick All to update this pick process in Business One. We can see the status of the document has changed to Picked, and now we can simply create a delivery document for these items by clicking Create. As you can see, we have the option to create an automatic or manual delivery for these items directly from within the pick list. We're going to choose a manual delivery to check that all the required data has been copied from the pick document. We can double check the bin location again as well. Here we can see that Business One has automatically allocated the right allocation for these items and we can even see how much stock is still available in these bin locations. In order to finalise this delivery we can add the delivery document to the system. In SAP Business One 9.0, we've been able to see how easy it is to manage a multi-bin location system fully embedded in the main business processes supported by Business One.